Over 1 million children die annually due to childhood diarrhoea. The study titled Consuming Transgenic Goat's Milk Containing the Antimicrobial Protein Lysosome Helps Resolve Diarrhoea in Young Pigs was published in 2013. It was led by Caitlin Cooper, Linda Grass Clovis, Elizabeth Maggot and James Murray. The aim of the study was to investigate milk containing lysosomes to treat diarrhoea in young pigs, which were used as models for humans. Diarrhoea is specifically a major problem in developing countries. It is a direct result of an infection in the gastrointestinal tract. The infection causes an inflammation of villi cells along the edge of the tract and an influx of water ions into the intestinal lumen. Further, diarrhoea can result in dehydration, electrolyte imbalance and malnutrition. The aim of this experiment was to utilise transgenic goat's milk containing the lysozymes, referred to as HLZ milk, to reduce the effects and recovery time for pigs with diarrhoea. The study consisted of exposing six-week-old Yorkshire Hampshire crossbred male pigs to a strain of E. coli. Half the pigs were fed milk containing the lysozyme, and the other half were fed normal goat's milk and used as a control. Clinical observations were recorded using a scale that determined faecal consistency and activity level. Tissue samples were used to analyse width, height and thickness of the villi, as the villi of the intestine are damaged in the event of diarrhoea. This graph shows the clinical observational data. It can be seen that once the pigs ingested the HLZ milk, there was an increase in both faecal matter and activity level, shown by these two lines. In comparison, the pigs in the control group declined further and ending the experiment with a lower activity and faecal matter scores here and here. Tissue samples collected show the villi present in both groups, thus comparing villi height, width and thickness. For the HLZ milk fed pigs and the control group, the control group slide here, the height of villi was reduced, which decreased the overall surface area of the villi, as seen here in comparison to that. And there are shallower crypts which indicate inflammation. The villi are also wider in the control group and this also shows inflammation. This inflammation and decrease in villi height shows that the control group has been affected more than the HLZ milk fed pigs and sustained further damage to their villi. Both results from the clinical observations and the tissue samples support the conclusion that pigs fed milk containing lysozymes sustained less villi damage and were more hydrated and recovered faster, thus making milk containing lysosomes an effective treatment of diarrhoea.